Hello Internet World, in today's video I have got a couple of really affordable keyboards from Re. I've got a wired keyboard and mouse combo and also a wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Now both of these were sent in free of charge by the manufacturer, no money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I just want to share with you my opinion of these really affordable keyboards so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the reviews. This is the Re RK203. It's a business keyboard and mouse combo. And it's really been designed to be an affordable option. This is super, super affordable. Inside the box, you get the keyboard and the mouse, of course. You also get a little instruction manual, just gonna guide you through getting up and running. I wanna to talk to you about the quality of these at this price point because they are super, super budget, but still very well made. Let's just pop the keyboard to one side, first of all, and have a look at the mouse. So this is a standard USB mouse, you can see here, USB on this end, uh, a fairly thin cable, which has got some sort of ridges to it, it's not perfectly smooth, so I do like that. We've got a optical sensor on the bottom, the model number of the mouse is the RM203, but this is part of this combo pack, and it's got some small glide pads on the bottom, it's very lightweight, quite a shallow, design to the mouse, primarily matte but with some gloss accents here as well. The mouse button's nice and responsive and then we've also got a third button in the middle with the scroll wheel and a nice area for your hand. If you've got very large hands it's probably a little bit small for that but for small to medium sized hands I think it would be perfectly adequate. Tracking's good, the buttons work well, it's very lightweight and ideal for if you just want a nice cheap way of getting a keyboard and mouse combo onto your desk. The keyboard itself, again, terminated in this USB connector. This is more of a smooth cable on the keyboard. It's a full QWERTY keyboard with a numeric keypad on the side here. We've also got some LEDs here for num lock, caps lock, scroll lock, etc. And we've also got some shortcut buttons across the top as well as a full array of function keys. In use, the noise is average. The feedback from the keys, perfectly adequate. It's a nice typing experience. It's very lightweight, but then you have to accept that at this price point. The features are minimal, and again, you have to accept that at this price point. But for the price, if this is your budget and you just want some cheap keyboards to roll out across multiple desks, for example, this is a great choice. It's really responsive, it works well, and it gets the job done. This is the Re RKM709. It's a wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Comes presented in this really nice box. On the box here, it just gives you details about the keyboard. The fact that it works with smart TV, TV box, tablets, computers, Amazon Fire TV, and other mobile devices. And in the bottom corner here, indeed it lists Windows, Fire TV, Mac OS, OS X, Android, and Smart TV. Now inside the box, you get the keyboard and the mouse and a user manual to get you up and running. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the mouse first of all. So this is a wireless mouse, really nice looking. We've got an additional button here, button underneath the scroll wheel, a nice scroll wheel, couple of additional buttons on the side, and of course, the traditional left and right mouse buttons. It's a very unique shape, very compact, but works extremely well. We've got a nice sensor on the bo bottom, we've got an on off switch, We've got glide pads, and then underneath this flap, let's just open up here, this is where you're gonna put the batteries, and there's also the little wireless dongle just stored inside the bottom of the mouse here. So USB wireless dongle. Really nice mouse, and it gets the job done. The keyboard is a pleasure to use. This is a nice compact keyboard. Uh, you can see here across the top, you've got the power button here, also volume up and down, volume mute. You've got the main power switch for turning the keyboard on. We've got an array of function buttons across the top, which also can be used for media control. If you push the function button down here. We've got a nice layout to the keyboard with these really low pro profile chiclet style keys. Across the back, it's completely clear. And if we take a look on the underside, 
this is where, if I open this up, you're going to find the uh, slots there for the AAA batteries. We've also got rubberized feet on the bottom, and then we've got these little kick out feet on the back. So you can kick those out to get a little bit of angle to the keyboard. This is a great keyboard. It feels very, very well made. And for the price point, I think it's a bit of a bargain. I think you're getting a very, very good offering here. And the fact you can use it with so many different devices is a real plus point. The typing action, is actually very, very nice. They're nice responsive keys. Uh, feel a tiny bit squishy at times on the space bar, for example, but perfectly acceptable. They've got a decent amount of travel, are well spaced, and I think after maybe a day or two transition period across to a new keyboard, I think you'll be making very, very minimal mistakes. Nice, clear symbols and lettering. I think this is a great, great keyboard and mouse combo. The fact that it's wireless, works with so many different systems, makes it a great value proposition. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do like this wireless keyboard. It's top, top quality. And the wired keyboard is also perfectly usable as well. If you want to purchase either of these, please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.